All right, new lightsaber, obligatory review. So here we go. <laughs> Sense a pattern here yet? <laughs> um, this is the uh, LGT RGBX Luke Return of the Jedi replica. Um, the RGBX meaning it's got the inhalt LED as opposed to a NeoPixel blade. This is a hollow blade if you're new here. Uh, lots and lots of stuff to learn. So <laughs> I've been doing it for uh, only since October, I think. <laughs> anyway, beside the point. Um, this thing's pretty cool. Um, like I said, I wanted my first loot to be a Neopixel. I got in a hurry and this thing, I bought this thing. Uh, it was on eBay for 300 bucks, and I got it in a week or less. So I, I impulse bought it, I guess you'd say. Uh, but let me tell you what I think about it. It's really cool because, like I said, it's so substantial in your hand. It feels more like a real lightsaber. I think that even goes better with actually the, the LED, the hollow blade, the lighter blade, because it just... It balances really perfectly, almost right here at the cross guard or whatever, the emitter section. Um, it's not something I would want to take outside and bang around too much. It is a little too nice for me for, to want to do that. Plus, with this really shallow emitter, I would not be interested in doing that. But it does have four set screws, at least. So I've got two in right now for show and tell, basically. Um, there are four around that little shallow emitter up there. But it operates exactly like the other RGBX, RGBX 9 fonts. It just has your button under this little switch plate here, which comes off either way. Uh, that button will fall out if you're not careful. Like if you need to access anything, take it apart. I'm not going to do that. I'll show you how to charge it. That's about it. Um, so that's under there. So there's that, that, that's probably a weak spot because that could fall out really easily. So I would probably take and like silicone that under there somehow so it would just stay and not come out. Uh, but all the button operation is beneath that plate. This little thing right here too, the little clamp or whatever, uh, it's just for show. Well, I'm sure it might hold something together, but like it came to me like this, where it's more snug against the chassis, like there, or the, the hilt, like that. But it's loose, as you can see. So I just tighten it up one more time, one more turn rotation, and left it like that for now. Uh, I'll worry about it later if I'm going to. But it's really shiny and pretty and <laughs> very, very Luke. <laughs> but uh, so that's the button operation. Uh, I think it, it might be awake right now. Let's see. Yep, so it operates just like the other ones. If you've seen any of my other videos or if you anybody know anybody's got one of these nine fonts, Eco Smooth Swings, the same thing. Um, you've got your blaster, your blaster block. Uh, it does flash on clash. I'm not gonna bang it right now. Um, let's see, it does blade lock. Oop, that's changing color. The problem with this is you don't have that flashing light to tell you when to let it go. So you just gotta just learn it basically. You, you can count it most of the time. And then color changing. Keep it on green for loop though. Um, you turn it off, just hold it till it goes off. That's four count, basically. And then there you go. Uh, to charge it, you can put it in deep sleep. Just hold it till it, hold it till way past you think it's off, <laughs> and it'll do that. To charge it though, uh, you take the pommel off, and it's got the core sticking out slightly, right here, and you've got a. A new to me USB right there, and it comes with a charging cord that fits that. So you just got to take the palm off every time to charge it. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Um, but let's see what else. Feels good in your hand, like I said. I'll put a little bit of footage on here of me swinging it around before we get off. But overall, yeah, it's cool saber. Really cool. Uh, like I said, I do want one in a Neopixel, but I, I, do not, I do not think it's going to balance out as nicely as this one for swinging around. But as a showpiece, yeah, I'd probably want a Neopixel anyway. But this is pretty cool to have. Um, so, like I said, let me turn off the lights, show you what's got for, just for fun, and I'll run through the fonts. So, yeah, I got to admit that with this hilt in your hand and uh, this ignition sounding green, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Even for an LED. Not bad at all. Feels really good. Like I said, the thin neck, I wouldn't want to go banging in anything with this little shallow emitter, but just for playing around, it bounces pretty well. You'd never see Luke do the OBE, any. <laughs> never. <laughs> Alright, so like I said, it's got flash block, flash on clash. Um, you can change the color slowly. <laughs> Just your standard uh, RGBX core is all it is. 
got the nine fonts on it. So let's find a color we like. Um, so let's just turn it off. So it's on a uh, Luke Vader or Vader Luke, however you want to argue it. You have something I want. Just your standard order. <laughs> and that's on soft sound, like I said. If I didn't say that, I keep it on soft sound. Ray Skywalker. I had to learn that the hard way. They just sound better. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Just pray you don't get the music. I'm Cal Kestis. And back to Luke Vader. Vader Luke. The force is with you, young Skywalker. Jedi yet. Wrong ignition. Wrong ignition. Right color. <laughs> So there you go. I'm going to get it back to green because that's where it's supposed to be. I'll give a little rundown here at the end, but overall, very pleased with it. Yeah. Feels good. Feels Star Wars-y. This thing, the, if one complaint, the other. The speed at which they cycle through the colors, but it's a very minor complaint. Something I can live with easily. Back to green. So. Okay, so there you go. Uh, the LGT RGBX Loop Return of the Jedi replica. A really cool handheld LED lightsaber with the Eco Smooth Swing. Um, and I bet this is the 10th or 11th time I tried recording this. It just sounds goofy every time I say it. So I'm going to try to be as blunt as possible because it's kind of my thing anyway most of the time. Uh, I've been called a few names for that. But anyway, beside the point. Uh, I'm going to give it away. But let me explain myself. I'm not doing it to grow my channel, which, you know, I guess I'll get followers anyway, or subscribers. My daughter reminds me all the time. But I'm doing it because, okay, so this is my fun time. This is my play time. This is my stress reliever. This is the first place I want to come when I get off work. Uh, just come out here and swing the lightsabers around, hang out, and making the videos has been a huge part of that, bigger than I ever thought, because it allows me to interact with the saber community, which I, you know, until October, I didn't even know was a thing, so... It's nice, it's a nice escape, if you will. But, and I kind of blame this on my age, <laughs> just getting older. Every time I play these things, there's a little pang of guilt you know, involved because here I am spending so much money on what's basically just an expensive toy when there's so much crap going on in the world that that money could be spent you know, somewhere better, I suppose. Even in my family or in my household, it could be spent somewhere better, but <laughs> I'm going to have toys. I just got to find a way to alleviate the guilt. So I have, I think, maybe. I'm going to give this thing away for charity and uh, hopefully raise some money. And I also think I have my wife on board, <laughs> who's been monitoring my uh, <laughs> saber purchases through our bank account, making sure I don't go crazy. But because uh, I pointed out to her, if I could raise more than the saber costs, how, how could I not do that again, right? <laughs> so, of course, we know I want to buy more lightsabers, play with them, make videos. But if I could buy more lightsabers, play with them, and make videos about them, and then raise money for charity on top of that, I'd feel better about everything, and I'd sleep better at night. And uh, I just think it's a good thing to do. So, I'm in a position where I can do this, so I'm going to give this thing away. Uh, you'll have to make a small donation to charity. I'll have all the details coming out in another video, hopefully in the next day or two. And, uh We'll just see how it goes, and if it doesn't go well, we just won't do it again. I'll just <laughs> give the money to charity next time. So, uh, thanks for hanging out here till the end. If you made it this far, um, as always, may the force be with you, and I will catch you later.